Schoolies has kicked off on the Gold Coast with 20,000 high school leavers celebrating the major milestone. Reporter Dominic Kansdale joins us now from the Gold Coast. Hi there, looks pretty quiet there now as it would at this time of day, but how did the first <laughs> night of Schoolies go? Really smoothly by all outward impressions. Paramedics have praised the conduct and behaviour of schoolies, saying of that 20,000 you mentioned, only 16 needed to be assessed by paramedics, mostly for alcohol-related issues. And that's a message that police have widely mirrored. There were no major incidents to report last night. That sort of behaviour trend tracks and matches what we've seen in recent years. For instance, last year there were 17 arrests at schoolies. That's compared to 500 about 15 years ago. So big changes at schoolies on the Gold Coast. And speaking of big changes, for a first this year, pill testing has been made available to schoolies. Uh, that's an initiative of the former Labor government who was voted out of office last month. The new LNP government says that they won't be continuing pill testing at next year's schoolie celebrations over concerns that it sends the wrong message about drug use. Nonetheless, police say at this year's event they won't be patrolling the area immediately around the pill testing site so that they don't discourage any schoolies from getting their drugs checked. But outside of the politics and the, the news angle of it all, uh, all the schoolies we spoke to last night, you just get a real sense of sheer enjoyment and happiness. Slogging away at the desk, uh, it gets a bit hard, some, you know, drilling sometimes, but yeah, to come out and have a good time with the boys, no, nah, really good, really good. I, I appreciate the stuff for the Red Frogs doing that, what they put on for us as well. I love it. I'm having so much fun. It's so fun. Really good. The beach part is really fun. Yeah. yeah. I met someone from Canberra in the mosh pit. I was like, what? <laughs> Where are you guys mates now? Yes. <laughs> I was like, wait, you're from Canberra? I was like, no way. And you guys... Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you can tell the mood's pretty positive here on the Gold Coast. So day one is down, there's a full week left, and hopefully the good results we've seen and the good atmosphere, the good mood continues for the rest of the week. Alison Hutton is a professor of nursing at Western Sydney University. She's also an expert in young people's health and safety at large scale events. Alison Hutton joins us now. Alison, thanks so much for coming on. It's obviously a great time for so many young people. They get out there, spread, spread their wings, blow off some steam but we want them to do it safely. Let's talk about the importance of making a plan when you're going to schoolies. How important is it to make a plan while I guess as a young person, you're also living in the moment? Good morning, Joe, and lovely to talk to you. Yeah, excuse my voice. Um, planning is really super important. And for schoolies, there are so many um, facilities that enable them to plan. Schoolies has websites which um, tells um, schoolies what events will be on so they can think about what they want to wear, um, appropriate footwear, their friends, who they want to go with, um, setting some limits together, planning places when to meet, what to do if their phone um, runs out of battery, um, agreed upon principles if um, they get into trouble. I also think talking to parents prior to going to school, least not the day before, um, is really, really important. And, um, yeah, so planning is hmm. number one. Well, who you go with can often be make or break in these circumstances. In school, in, on schoolies, is it a case of sort of strength in numbers when you're sticking with a group? I think it's really important to go with people that you know, people that you trust, people that you've gone out with previously. And yes, strength in numbers is really important. My research has shown that um, young women tend to plan their peer groups more extensively than young men, um, that young men tend to just go along and um, be a bit more spontaneous, for want of a better word. But it's always really important to go with people that you know and people that you trust. Something that has become more common at schoolies than it was back when I went on schoolies is the rise in official events and parties. What measures are being taken by those official organisers to help keep young people safe? Yeah, Jo, that's a really important point. And actually, it's actually what makes schoolies across Australia now a lot safer, is the official events means that people get 
a wristband. We don't have the toolies. You know, we have that, like, reduced opportunity for drink spiking. You know, bags are checked. Um, there's security guards, um, police, crowd care. So all of those, um, that infrastructure is established within those planned events. So if someone goes overseas um, to Bali, for example, there's none of that planned infrastructure. Mm. What help is on offer if a young person finds themselves in trouble, a bit out of their depth, separated from their, from their friends? What help is on offer for them at schoolies? Yes, yeah, so traditionally we have the Red Frogs, mm. which is a faith-based chaplain service that is um, you know, pastoral care. Um, and, you know, who doesn't love anyone that gives out lollies, right? Um, and um, then, of course, we have the police. The police make sure they're on foot so that they're accessible to schoolies. Um, people with... Um, Brightly coloured vests saying school is support, so crowd care will be available. Um, and I always say to young people, you know, if you need some support, go into a wellness area, just try and, like, mm. calm yourself down and then seek out those people. Mm. Just briefly and finally, what's your advice to parents who might be feeling a little bit worried about sending their child off to, or their teenager really, to schoolies if they might be a bit reluctant? What can they help do to ease concerns? Yeah, great question. Um, be accessible. Don't say, hmm. off you go, I don't want to hear what you're doing. Say, I would really love to hear what you got up to when I get back. Um, I'm here if you need anything, if you just want to talk. I'm here, be accessible, I think it's really important. And have a conversation about drugs and alcohol, mm. you know, three months beforehand, not the day beforehand. Mm. And, you know, remember that we were all young and we were all a bit spontaneous and we might have done things, you know, that weren't the best decisions. So be open to having a conversation with your schoolies. So that um, on the TV now, those schoolies support people. They're fantastic mm. and see the Red Frog crew. Yeah. So schoolies are really well supported. I mean, it's their event. We want them to be safe and we want them to come home happy. Exactly. Good advice there. Alison Hutton, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you very much.